Hello folks and welcome back to Armour 3. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a new thing. Um, this is going to be a little introductory video, uh, a basic flights lesson, but it's not going to be taken from a I am an awesome pilot and I'm very experienced and I'm going to show you my skills. It's more a case of I have been flying in Armour games for quite a while. Um, I got pretty good, like not massively good, no, really, not like the Slexi standard, but with a mouse and keyboard, I was actually I was I was quite good. Although I developed a little bit of a reputation for crashing a lot because I, <laughs> I was I, I've always been a bit of a risky flyer. But in any case, um, I've actually upgraded to a joystick, so I'm having to kind of relearn pretty much everything. So I figured, you know what, it actually might be quite interesting to kind of document that process within Armour Three. But on top of that, um, kind of make a little series about what I'm going through, what I'm oop, fuck off steam. Uh, teaching myself and kind of the different things to take into account when you're kind of deciding. You know what? I'm gonna ha I'm gonna give flying a chopper a serious go in Armour Three. So um, there's a bunch of things you can do. To be honest, like it's, Armour Three is a huge game with a bunch of different things you can try. And I think flying helicopters actually quite possible one of the most fun, and most rewarding aspects. So I guess. Um, be beware in mind, uh, bleh, be wary, bear in mind, different phrases I try to join together. I am using a uh, a remote, uh, sorry, a remote, a joystick for this, so obviously if you're only having a mouse and keyboard it will be slightly different for you, but not all too different, it's just I have a little bit more control in terms of the fine tuning. Um, but uh, <laughs> my differences are pretty, pretty apparent. But in any case, um, you'll notice that I don't really look around like this very much when I'm using my uh, joystick, that's because I don't have track IR yet, so that'll be an investment later on. But I'm rambling, so without further ado, I'll, I'll take you into some of the basics. Very, 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 very basics. So, fuck off. When you, <laughs> when you first uh, see your wee chopper here, um, and when you first get in, obviously it's not going to be moving, so uh, you're going to be switching on whichever button is the raise collective or the lower collective doesn't really matter basically you're just turning on the uh, the engine and um, you'll notice that it actually takes a while uh, you can actually see it on the gauge down here um, as it gets up when it gets to the green line that's actually going to when could be when you can actually move just up there rpm when you get enough rpm to actually be able to control um, that, that gauge there so there you go it's setting nice in the middle so now that's when you, it's ready for you to actually take control and start moving about. Um, feel free to watch these gauges as, as, as I fly, you'll actually see them moving in real time, reacting to the response. I don't know what some of them do, so please don't think this is going to be an incredibly technical video, because it's really not. Uh, I don't know enough. I eventually do want to know enough, but this is purely just from a kind of a gamey Armour 3 standpoint. So, um, press, in terms of movement in, in Armour 3, very, very simple. You've got kind of your, your, your collective which is your power, your your rotor speed, so that handles kind of up and down basically, however um, it's not just up and down because of how much you're going to be tilting the rotor blades, basically it's the power to your rotors and how so it affects kind of your speed as well as your, your height, so I'm going to raise, there we go, and I'm going to lower so very very simple. When you're in the air you also have yaw, now this is direct left and right on a rotational axis as in you've got uh, imagine you've got a, a kind of a pencil going through the middle of your helicopter, which is attached to the ground. I'm a very popular boy just now. Um, that is your yaw, so I can kind of go all the way around, which is a bit frustrating. And look, I'm facing behind me. Um, this is fairly slow, but also really quite nice for maneuvering. Um, I think you can you can set it so it's a lot faster. I mean, if I use my yeah, that's my using my keyboard, and it's me using my joystick. Not much of a difference. Okay, now. The next movement, I'm just going to sit down for now, the next movement is your pitch, and this is probably the movement you're going to be using most in flight. So, you have your forward pitch, and that's going to put you into a forward movement because you're directing your rotor blades so that they're actually angling more forward, and then obviously you have the opposite of that, which is your uh, backward pitch, so that's actually, you're killing off your speed, so if you look in the top left hand corner of my screen, you'll see the speed, but you also see that I've gained height. By uh, by going up, I mean it, it can that in that way it kind of works like a plane. Um, if you if you put your nose down, you'll lose height um, without touching the collective. 
Then if you point your nose up, you will gain height. So that's worth that's worth considering when you're doing any sort of maneuvers. Um, when you're coming into landing, you kind of have to sometimes do a mixture of of different things, but the main one you're going to be using is kind of lowering your collective. So that's the four movements. You've got yaw, pitch, and I guess I guess roll actually um, is 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 the final one, which is rolling left and rolling right like so. And that's actually going to be used for turning when you're at speed, because you can't use yaw when you're at speed. Okay, and I'll show you here, I'll show you trying to use yaw. As you can see, I've picked up some speed here, but if I try to yaw, it, there's some, it, there just isn't enough power to kind of complete that circle. So if I want to turn, I have to tilt. And on its own, it'll start turning slowly, but if you tilt and then you draw back, so you're, you're, kind of, you're pitching down as well as rolling to the right. The same is for turning to the left. You roll to the left and you pitch back, and that, that means you're actually turning in quite a nice turn arc. So if you show you here, I'll show you quite a nice um, sharp turn. There we go, straight on to a nice little ambush. So if if you see um, ambush, don't know where that came from. So if you see quite talented part pilots like Dyslexia, what they're doing when they're really sharp turning is they're kind of they're braking against whatever maneuvers they've done, so they're going to come round in a nice tight arc. And as you can see, that actually kills off quite a lot of their speed. Not too much. You have to like, I didn't do it very well there, but it kills off a large portion of their speed, so they don't necessarily have to worry about it. Now, um, that's the, the basics of movement. So if you want to keep kind of going over that that part of the video to have a wee check um, and kind of just just practice that. I mean, that's the basis of flight. So that's. I'd, <laughs> that is literally just you being able to go up in the air and knowing how to turn um, and maneuver slightly. The hardest part of helicopter flying, I'm, I'm sure this is in, in, in real life as well as in number 3, is the landing stage. Every single time. Now we've got a l lovely big open open uh, runway, so we're going to do a very simple thing. We're going to do the basic landing. So you're flying along, you've built up some speed, you say, actually, I want to land at the end of this runway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kill off my speed. And as I kill off the speed, I'm going to lower my collective. And that basically means I can come in for a nice landing without taking too much of a rubber, uh, too much of a turn to any damage. Now, obviously, usually you're going to be flying quite a lot faster than that. So sometimes you have to kind of pre-plan a lot more. So if I've raised my collective quite a lot now, I'm going to get up to a nice speed. I'll turn around and come back. Um, and I'm going to do a straight landing. Bear in mind, this is going to take quite a long time. This is it's not a fast landing. This is just your simple getting up and landing. This is this is the easiest and and the the way you should be trying to do the first few times you you, you land, and actually f quite a lot after that as well. I mean, it's if at any point you feel quite unsure of the vehicle you're in, land like this, <laughs> and you should be okay. Right. So we're getting some speed. We're coming in, and my guys are saying, okay, land me somewhere on the airfield. You've got quite a large target, quite a large area you kind of aim for, so not necessarily having to worry about too much about worrying about um, a small, quick, difficult landing spot. And what I'm going to do is pitch my nose up slightly, so you can see I'm starting to kind of dribble off that speed. I'm not gaining too much height as I do so. I'm lowering my collective, so it's stopping me from flying too hard. And as I do that, I'm going to keep kind of tapping the lower collective. If you hold it down too much, you're going to you're going to lose too much height, so just keep on watching the numbers up on the top, kind of judging it when you're flying. And a nice, be gentle landing. So, you jump off, and you can get your free field to carry on with your day. <laughs> so that is the basic landing. Try and kind of um, con uh, combine a, a nice, slow drop-off of power with a nice, slow um, drop-off of speed. So you have a nice, slow descent um, in a straight line. As you saw, that did actually take quite a lot of time, um, and you needed quite a nice open area um, quite often to do that. So obviously, that's not necessarily always going to be the case in in missions. So you'll see fantastic pilots doing some really nice controlled landings where they've come down and they've gone right. Okay, so there's some folks here in this corner, and I've broken off my speed, and I can just come down without too much wiggling and pick them up, and that's possible as well. But um, that takes a lot more. A lot more expertise. So what I'm going to try <laughs> and attempt to show you finally is a bit of a faster landing. Um, do not judge me. 
Um, I'm this video is completely like unscripted. Uh, was kind of scripted, but it, it, there's no editing involved. I'm just this is just one big take. Uh, <laughs> everything's going well so far, but I'm I'm not afraid to show you my feelings. <laughs> Disclaimer early on. This is me kind of relearning everything with my joystick, and I'm not a fantastic pilot, so uh, that's a thing. Right. Say I want to land over there somewhere, um, between buildings, and I'm coming in quite fast, over 100 kilometers per hour. Now, as you can see, I'm actually I'm still not I'm not heading directly towards them. What I'm doing is heading to the side, and I'm actually aiming to kind of orbit them. So what I'm going to do is pull in a nice long turn. I've completely tried to cut off almost all of my speed. So, oh god, I fucked it up. <laughs> Be right back. Attempt two. <laughs> uh, I should have an attempt counter. It's going to get to like 15 before I do anything mildly good. So we're going to try and land among the buildings to the right there. We've got some friendlies probably pinned down by the enemy. And we're going to come in quite fast. What we're going to try and do is just break off a load of that speed. Um, and find the building they're in, start kicking off some... Yeah, that was terrible. Don't know what I'm trying to... Don't, don't even know what I'm even attempting to do. I landed in here, but it's... That wasn't exactly what I was wanting to show. You know what, let's land over here in front of this building. Um, what you'll see, and what will be very frustrating with you, is... I'm doing this deliberately a little bit at the moment, um, to kind of showcase it is overcompensating, for instance, leaving one side too much. Like leaning, if I leave this open too much, I'm actually going to gain too much speed. Now what you need to do is almost... It feels weird, but you almost need to end too early for you to just kind of come into land. And also, when you're at this stage, just getting down on the ground as soon as you can is helpful. For instance, see I'm on the ground, but I'm not going to glide too far away, even if I've messed it up. I mean, if you do it perfectly, you're literally just kind of going to go... And down I go, and you're going to come in. Oh, as you can see, my uh, <laughs> my skills with the uh, with the joystick rather than the mouse are quite different. I wonder if I can. I'll do an attempt with the mouse. Here we go. I'm gonna switch over right now. Let's see if I can actually remember how to do it with the mouse. Okay, I've got that and that. Oh, this is gonna feel weird. Okay. Oh, it also needs to be said that when I'm using um, a mouse, I use my keyboard for for main controls and my mouse for fine motor. So. My mouse is for small movements, the keyboard is for big movements. See, <laughs> quite a lot better with the mouse. Hopefully I'll get to the same as, way as I was with the keyboard and <laughs> mouse as I was with the joystick. Um, I don't know if it was clear what I was doing there, but basically the general idea here is to use a sharp turn towards the end to cut to be like where you cut off most of your um, velocity so therefore you hit the ground pretty safely and you don't need to necessarily worry about it um, which is just you know what you need to kind of worry about trick flying flying underneath things um, at velocity and going through small places that is actually really surprising easy you know, kind of pick it up faster than you'll expect um, landing is always going to be the hardest part so don't be uh, dissuaded if it, you, you struggle with landing, that's normal, everyone does. You can see, and I've left in my crashing, and I didn't need to, um, landing is hard, and you will occasionally make mistakes. I think what you just need to do is kind of learn, know your limitations, so if you're trying to play a multiplayer match with your friends, you won't take a helicopter slot and go, right, I'm going to do this amazing landing in this tiny little area really, really quickly and kill everyone. So that's what you want to try and avoid. You want to try and avoid just doing that sort of mistake. That was quite nice. <laughs> um, yes, so it, it can be done. You just need to keep practicing. And to be honest, it's almost worth, if you know you're going to be in, doing a session where you're going to be flying in a helicopter, it's it's actually worth jumping in half an hour to an hour before if you really want to provide a good show and just fly. Plonk a helicopter down the editor and just fly and keep flying because your your kind of your hands warm up, your your muscle memory warms up to it, and you actually get a lot better. I've noticed even just while recording this video that my flying has improved towards the end compared to at the beginning. So yes, uh, flying is fun, and um, that's kind of the end of I suppose the kind of the tutorial part of this video. I suppose I'll do another one 
Um, I'll probably have to do some more in regards to actual actions on contact, so flying under fire, flying when parts of your helicopter start breaking. I'll do videos of that at a later date, uh, but for now I think this is a quite a nice wee um, introduction. And you saw that I suck, so hopefully that's not going <laughs> to... You won't feel kind of... Um, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? Pushed away? Uh, I, I just... I just... I kind of want to, to, you to have a video from someone that's closer to a beginner's level. I think that's quite nice. Quite a lot of the videos you see here from rather incredibly skilled folks who don't necessarily have the same kind of... Remember the same grasp of different things that were difficult when they were flying when they just began. So uh, hopefully this has been informative, feel free to let me know if you want to see anything else. And I guess, yeah, um, after I land on this cliff, I, I'll see you again next time. I'm going to fuck this up. That's a really horrible place to try and land. Um, but he's going to do it anyway. That rock right there, that's where I'm landing. Come on, you beauty. Oh no, I'm gonna make a hash of this right at the end of the video. Fuck it. I'm not allowed.